today we will be discussing a problem on application of quick sort that is finding the kth smallest element problem statement is given an array of integer find kth smallest element in that that means we have to find the, the kth element in sorted array if that array is a sorted array then we need to find the kth smallest element but the given array is not sorted so our task is to find that kth smallest element in that array for for example let's say i have an array which has like 2 3 1 5 7 6 10 9 these are the elements and i want to find out fourth smallest element in this array so the first smallest is 1 second is 2 third is 3 and the fourth is 5 so this is what i need to return brute force solution for this problem is like sort the array and return a of k minus 1th element so if i want to return fourth smallest element then i will return a of 3 in this case it will return 5 uh, because the sorter array will be like this so what is the complexity of this algorithm to sort an array the best we can get is o of n log n using merge sort with extra space or quick sort with good selection of pairs right so this is what we get now the question is can we do it without sorting the entire array what we need is the position the kth position right and uh, what is the algorithm which depends on the position of of, of an element that is quick sort quick sort works based on the position of pivot right and what is the po like property of pivot all the elements when we have partition the array into two parts uh, using the pivot all the elements on the on to the left hand side of pivots are smaller than they might not be sorted but they must be smaller than the pivot and on the right hand side all the elements should be greater than the pivot individually they might not be sorted so can we use that property here when we are placing our element on to the pivot position and we are partitioning our array into two parts one as a smaller than pivot and another as a bigger than pivot or the larger than pivot right the pivot position give us some hint what elements are less than and what elements are greater than pivot now let's say if pivot is a position at k minus 1 or it is the kth smallest element if pivot pivot is equals to k right pivot position is equals to k actually then we will return the pivot and that will be the kth smallest element now what if the pivot is greater than k that means there are more number of elements which are smaller than pivot and the kth smallest element must be in that, that subset of elements so these elements will be on the left hand side so if this is my my array and this is my pivot right and p weight is my greater than k right desired kth smallest element will be on the left hand side so we will again apply the same procedure quick sort procedure on to the left hand side what if my k is greater than p that means my desired element is on this side right so i will apply the same procedure quick sort on to right hand side right so don't worry we are not completely sorting the array okay so let's see how we can do this so let's write first what is the quick sort function so whoa, like quick sort is the recursive way of implementation of sorting that is quick sort what we do is we pass integer array uh, integer start and integer end right and in this since we want to find the kth smallest element we'll pass k also otherwise this is these three parameters are sufficient for quick sort okay let's start what we will do is like first of all we will partition if base case is like if start is less than end then we will what we will do is like we will partition so we will figure out in pivot equals to partition and what we will pass we will pass array start and end it will return us the pivot position now we will check if pivot position is equals to equals to k minus 1 that means p 
pivot is at the pivot is itself the kth position right then we'll just return return array of pivot else what will happen pivot may be greater than k then we will search in left hand side of the quick uh, array input array that is quick sort sorry this should be integer because we are returning returning and here will be return quick sort a start will be the same since we are using k minus 1 will include the pivot element so it will be still pivot and else return quick sort in a now start will be pivot plus 1 because we are not considering that for pivot element into the right hand side and end will be the same and the k will be since we are passing the whole array the k will remain the same always otherwise we can uh, we can always modify the k as the smallest element we will be using the k as changing variable so here we don't need because we will be passing the whole array and the index is of the array not of the part of the array so that confusion arises many a times now i have implemented the complete function here uh, but still we need to implement the partition right let's implement the partition here partition function returns us integer partition we have passed integer a integer start and integer and that's all so what we'll do like if right we'll start uh, i'll also take an example here and we'll work out that example let's say this is my example and my start is 0 uh, my end is 0 1 2 3 4 5 now what we'll do is like we'll select a pivot initially equals to start that is 0 and int i will be equals to start and int j will be equals to end or i will be i plus start plus 1 that will be this element right now what we'll do is like while start is less than end that means we we are not cross this thing right actually not start and end it will be i and it will be j while i is less than j what we'll do like again while a of i is less than a of pivot what we'll do is like we'll do i plus plus i'll i'll go through the uh, execution let's write it first that is while a of j is greater than a of pivot we'll just do j once we reach a condition where these two things are done what we'll do like in this case let's execute it so 3 will we are in this loop a of i is less than pivot yeah so i plus plus i becomes 2 it is again less than pivot that is 5 yes we will again do plus plus so we are i is this thing we'll break from this loop now j starts j is greater than 5 yes will j minus 1 is j is greater than 5 j minus 1 is right j is greater than 5 on this leg right again j, j minus minus so we reach j here here the j is less than pivot so we'll stop here again there must be one more condition here while i is what you can call less than and i should not go beyond the end of the array and j is greater than equals to zero that means actually start that means it should not go beyond this side right so these are now we have j and i what we'll do like we'll swap our this jth position with the pivot, pivot position because j jth will be at the smallest element right smaller element than the pivot so we'll swap these two now before that if like j is greater than i that means these two things are yet not crossed each other right then we will swap i and jth element right if i is less than j then swap a i and a j they have crossed each other then we will move out of while because i will be greater than j right now what we will do is like we will swap a of j and a pivot so in this case what will happen will swap our final array will be like this 2 3 5 7 9 and 6 now if we are finding fourth smallest element our pivot is 2 right so we'll look for our kth smallest element into 
this array that is 7 9 again the same partitioning will be happening and start and end will be like this is 0 1 2 so start will be 3 and end will be 5 and we'll figure out that fourth smallest element will come as 7 so this is how the kth smallest element can be found so let's uh, work out an example based on this whole algorithm okay we have an array that is uh, let's draw this array here 4 2 1 3 8 7 10 9 6 this is our array right and we want to find let's say fifth smallest element so what we'll do like we'll first partition this array partitioning will give us pivot right we will move our pivot initially will be 0 and start will be this and end will be this and let's partition it so this is i this is j i is less than pivot a of pivot is 4 right a of i is less than pivot yes i plus plus i becomes this again same condition i becomes this Again, this is the condition where I a of i is greater than pivot, so we'll stop here. Again, we'll decrement j till the time it is greater than pivot, that is 4. So, j minus minus, j minus minus, j minus minus, j minus minus, and j minus minus. Here, i and j have crossed each other, so what we'll do, like we'll j swap j with pivot. So, the next iteration, our array becomes 3, 2, 1, 4, 8, 7, 10, 9, and 6. K is equals to 5 and pivot position equals to 3. So, P is no, is less than K minus 1, right? We are looking for 5th element, but PV, pivot is giving us 4th element, right? So, what we'll do, like, we'll start looking into this term. So, now our pivot will become A of 4 right a of 4 so a of pivot will become 8 start will be 5 and end will be again the same right now our pivot is this we'll start this i is less than pivot yes great so we'll go ahead this is greater than so we'll stop here now j is already less than pivot right so we'll stop here itself i is less than j in this case right then the inner while loop condition we wrote so what we'll do like we'll swap these two element will and we'll continue so our next iteration array will be we'll take this one only our j was this our i was this again right i will be incremented i will be again incremented i is greater than so we'll stop here j is again greater than 8 so we'll move j here right j is again greater than we'll move j here so j is less than so we'll stop here now i is greater than j so we'll swap the pivot with j so this will come here so our final array will be 7 8 9 and 10 now pivot position which position in array is it 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right this is sixth position are we clear on this the sixth position now we want fifth smallest element but we we have pivot at six so we'll look into the right hand oh sorry left hand side array of the pivot right so our array becomes six and seven and our start is start will be the same that is four uh, five and end will change that will pivot minus one that will be five so both of them are like 4, sorry, start will be 4 here and uh, end will be 5 and uh, partition this thing, nothing will happen because they, these are already sorted, the pivot will point to this position only and now pivot is at the position 4, so pivot is equals to k minus 1 and that 6 will give us the 5th smallest element. So if we see that, that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 this is the fifth smallest element hope this example explains how algorithm works thank you very much for watching